Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I would like to show you how you can generate MIDI CC to control other settings in other instances, in this case inside AUM, or to activate other settings through other synthesizers, through MIDI channels. So I'm going to use uh, a couple of instances uh, inside AUM and um, then I'm going to use also the uh, mute toggle function inside the UAM to show you how I can control that through MIDI CC. And this will become useful as you expand the use of the app and so that you can control different parameters from Drumbo. So let's create free audio channel. One, two, and three. Let's click on the plus sign here, click and scroll down, type Drumbo, DRA for Drumbo, select Drumbo. Click on the plus sign here again, select ISM, ISA, A, Audio Unit Extension, and let's do the same also for this channel. Okay, perfect. Now let's click on the settings here. Let's connect uh, uh, the first ISM instance to Drumbo and let's ensure that that receive only on channel number two. Uh, so we do a similar thing here. We connect it to Drumbo and we ensure that the, um, this channel receive only on MIDI channel number three. Okay. Perfect. Also, what we are going to do, we're going to change a little bit the, the preset. So on this first instance, let's select uh, uh, a base. And on the second instance, yeah, let's uh, leave the real to there. So let's go inside Rambo now. <clears throat> and let's create a simple uh, set of notes or pattern for both instances. So for part number one, Track number one, let's click on the plus sign, let's go to MIDI, let's select the MIDI output. Let's click in here, select the MIDI out, and let's select channel two. And this is for the bass, so let's uh, select some notes like so. And let's click play. Perfect, let's go to track number two or part number two uh, let's add again another midi output select the midi out and the channel number three and let's make a more uh, elaborate pattern like so so we alternate notes like so and uh, let's click play <laughs> Perfect. Now, what I would like to do is to be able to click on a pad and mute one of these channel. Okay. So let's start with this channel, which is channel number three. So right, let's select pad number three. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's select under MIDI the CC generator for control changes. Let's then select the MIDI output. Let's select the MIDI out and let's select these two number three. Now, <clears throat> when I trigger the pod, it will send a note which will be converted from the MIDI to CV um, modules. So let's connect these MIDI output to the MIDI CC generator and let's also change the CC to number one. And let's connect uh, the MIDI CC generator to the gate of MIDI to CV so that the trigger, the gates which is triggered from this module will make the CC uh, generator to send the CC signal, which in this case or event, which in this case is number one, which will go out through channel number three. Now, let's uh, uh, change the size of this window so that we can see 
um, the instance number three or the channel number three. Let's click on the part three. As you can see, nothing happens, which makes sense. Let's click here on the setting or, or AUM. Let's go on the menu control. It will ask us now to set the MIDI source because it's not connected. Let's connect. Let's click on that and let's select Drumbo. So the MIDI source now will be Drumbo. Let's move back here. Let's scroll down. Here we have the different channels. So let's select the third one. And let's click here where it says mute here the, uh, on the right hand side. Let's click on the arrow here to activate channel number three. Then let's click here to move from node to PC and then to CC. And let's change these to CC number one because that is what we set in Drumbo. And let's make this a toggle function. So let's come here now and click on number three. And as you can see, as I click and then click in mute and in a mute. So if we click play, we can unmute and mute. And this is very, very handy because you can expand these and you can control other parts, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, inside AUM. And you can also change, uh, depending on the settings supported, you can change the settings inside a particular instance because you can expand here on the setting on the MIDI control. And therefore you can go inside, for example, ISIM and choose other parameters that you want to change. And, and when you play live, then you can decide if to activate or not activate, for example, an arpeggio or change other settings. So um, this can come quite handy. And if you didn't know how to uh, set it up, well, now you have an example. So I hope you enjoyed. And as always, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.